So you can head over to this website, railwheel.com. You can go straight. I'm not an affiliate of this. So this one, you can get one month free cloud server because when you sign in using your GitHub account, so make sure you have a GitHub account, you will have a free $5 credits, which you can use for the entire month and run all your automation unlimited. Now we sign in using our GitHub account. So once you sign in, you will see here, you've got the $5 trial credit. Now, once you're here, what we can do is select this one, deploy a template. And here you can find any and right here. So you can easily type the any and right here and you have options here. So you can just choose this default one, deploy any and on railway with one click for easy workflow. You can choose that. And here you just need to click on deploy. Now you will see the progress right here. As you can see, it's building. So you have to wait for a few minutes. I think it will last for two to three minutes. Now you will see right here, the build has been successful and deployment is successful. You will see the message right here. This will become your any and public URL right here. So you can access that anytime. So when we open this, we copy this. So you will see here, it's ready to go. Now you can create your account. So once you have your account, you're ready to create your unlimited workflow. So what we are trying to do here, we will connect our Google Sheets right here because we will have a simple automation to populate this subreddit right here. My subreddit here has been dormant for I think six months now or two months as you can see. So I'm gonna start to make this active again by putting more contents. So we're gonna automate that using this free cloud server using any N. But before we are able to gather keywords here, we will need to connect our edit and to Google Sheets. So you have to watch this because there are some few instructions that we will need to do in order to add your Railway Cloud Server to be able to connect to your Google Cloud here and get data from Google Sheets. So first we click the start from scratch and here add your first step, just search Google Sheet. So here you select that and click these actions. You choose this update role right here or sorry, get rows, because we will get keywords to create contents for our subreddit. Now here, we will create a new connection to our Google account. So you click this create new credentials. So this is what I want to show you guys. This one, the OAuth redirect URL is currently set to localhost, which will not work if you're using the cloud server public URL. So you have to update this and you're not able to update this right here. So what you need to do, go back to this deployment right here that you did in railway, we have to do a simple step, go to variables right here. And here, click this new variable. And we will type here webbook underscore URL. Now the value of this will be our any and public URL, which is right here. All right. So this is the base public URL that's set up here. Now click this add and once you make any changes here, you will see this apply one change and you have to redeploy it. So you click this deploy. So it will apply this variable that we just added. And we will have to reload again our NIC and once it's done. So you see right here, after 34 seconds, it's completed. So you go to the deployments again and you're able to access this URL, the same URL. So we click this. So the data will be deleted because we have redeployed. So we just need to recreate our account. So we just recreate it when you redeploy your application. Now let's do, do that again. Click the start from scratch and add your first step. And here we're going to search Google Sheets right here. Click these actions and here click this get row. Now we will create our new credential. And as you notice right here, it's no longer localhost. This is our proper OAuth redirect URL, which we can used to set up in the Google Cloud, which I'm going to show you now. So here in the Google Cloud, just click this API set services and you go to credentials. Now you will notice that you have several OAuth client IDs right here. You can reuse them. So let's see, let's select one of them or you can create new. So if you want to create new, just click this OAuth client at end here. You just name it to N8N Railway. Now in this authorized redirect URI, that's where you're going to put this redirect URL right here. So we copy this and we paste that right here to make sure you double check the URI and then click this create button. And now you'll be able to get your client ID and client secret. So we're going to copy them and paste it right here and then the client secret as well. This one. 
paste that and then you need to sign in make sure you sign in the similar account you use to create your console google cloud client all on id all right so this is the same account that you're going to use to sign in here and also the same account where your google sheet where you created your google sheet now let's do that let's sign in so here when you see this warning just click continue and here you just click on continue if you see a checkbox right here just tick that and click continue and there you go you can see got connected the window can be closed so you see here account connected so you can close this and when you drag this you will now see the list of your google sheets now click this best cooker and here we will need to populate keywords first so let's find some keywords here in samrush so our subreddit here is about cooker so we get some ideas from keyword magic tool and here we just type cooker and click on search so one trick that i will show you here to get some transactional or some keywords related to product you can have the intent as transactional and commercial that means people who are searching for those keywords are pretty much going to do action either they're gonna buy the product or they will look for information and later on buy the product so click on apply so here as you can see a cook pressure cooker rice cooker so these are actually products that you can create content so i'm just going to show you some example and how you can fetch them and also to be sure that you're actually getting this one you can go to praise much so here as you can see most of them are products so we're gonna copy some of the keywords right here and head back to our google sheet so delete this other data that you copied you just need it main keywords here and make sure you have column name of keywords and status now set all the status to pending now let's try grabbing this data right here so from any and here you choose the sheet one and then this is very important add filter so select the status as you can see it's loading and here we're gonna choose pending so we will select one keyword at a time and then to do that make sure you add this option return only first matching row and you toggle this all right you toggle that and when you click this test step there you go you're now able to get the data which you can use in your workflow now going back to our workflow that we are setting up here we will need to create content and in this example i'm just going to use article ai generator as you all know so that we can just easily create a sample so to do that we will need to create a module called http request so here we add a new module http request and here the method will be post and the url we can find all the information here if you have an account go to app secret key now here is the request url and then paste that right there make sure the method is post and then for article AI generator you will need to toggle this send query parameters and you can add these three basic parameters to create an article so we add the username paste this and then your username value paste this click add parameter again the next one will be the secret key and then of course the value which is right here paste that and then add another parameter which is the keyword so the value of the keyword we will be getting that from here the google sheet the previous step which we already executed so you just drag this right there so that will be dynamic so this will now create an article that we will be able to post to our subreddit right here now we have here our automation helper in circuit ai that online where we can store all our credentials so that we will just access the credentials using identifier so here i already added my reddit credential right here so i can just access that using the identifier right here and here in the home page you will see here reddit subreddit automation helper so we're gonna add these credentials right here these parameters so in our it end so once you added the article ai you go back and then add another http request right here this will be post method as well and then the url grab them from here this one and in article ai generator we enable the send query parameters but this one we will enable the send headers and then the send body so for headers we will just need one header which is right here the content type and we're gonna paste that right there and then the value will be this one 
paste that as well. And then here in the send body, when you enable that, make sure you select this form URL encoded. Now to be able to post to our Reddit, what we need to do is the title and the content and the name of our subreddit. Now going back here, username is the username of our circuit AI online account, which is right here. So add that as first parameter and then this one the value. Add another parameter, which is the identifier, paste that here. So this is what I'm telling you. The identifier can be grabbed from here, paste the value, and then the par add another parameter, which is the post title right here. Add that as name and then the value of post title, of course, the value from article AI generator, since we haven't executed the previous step. So now here, because we haven't executed the previous node, and if I click this execute previous nodes, it will actually start generating article, which we don't want yet. So to have a map value here so that we will be able to populate dynamically the post title, what we can do is go back to the step where we generate article. So again, don't take this test step yet because this will create your article, your art actual article. If you are just mapping it in the beginning, you can take this set mock. So you will just need to know, for example, you're not using article AI generator, you're using something else. You will need to know the format of the response. Now here, since I'm familiar with the format of the response, so this is what I'm going to do. So again, take this set mock right here. Now you just need this single curly bracket right here. Now the response will be just the title and this one is the content. So this is for article AI generator. It could be different in some other generator API. Let's say if you are using Gemini or something else, I'm going to cover that in the future video. But for now to be easily show you the workflow, I'm just using this. So here the content will be sample. You can just use that as long as you know the key of the response that you will get. All right, then take this save. Now, as you can see, you have this output right here, the mock output. Now, when you go here, when you go back here, you will now be able to see the response. And here in the post title, we will be able to drag this and then take add parameter again. So this is the post content. Now we're going to put the post content right here. And then the value will be this one content. Just drag that. All right. Now the last thing is here, we will pass the subreddit name where we want to create the content. And in our case, this one, the best cooker right here. So we're going to add that last parameter subreddit, and then we will copy the subreddit name right here, paste that. So that's going to be our subreddit. And I think that's all we need. Now we can go back. So that's it. So in these three steps, you will be able to create the content, but we will just need another step, the last one, which will mark the status to done. All right. So that if you are going to paste thousand keywords here, you can just run this without coming back here. So it will continuously run based on the configuration you set here. For example, you're going to want to have new content every hour or every three hours. So up to you because you have one month of work credits here in your railway. So you can use that to create a bunch of articles, bunch of contents in your subreddit, in your website. So anywhere, as long as you consume your first month. So you want to utilize the free credits. Now, the last step will again be the Google sheet right here. And then what we're going to select is this update row. And the same thing, we will select this row, which is the, the document, which is the best cooker. And then same sheet number right here. And here in the column to match, so we're going to have this row number. That means we will update this row number. Again, we don't have the data right here because the one that we want to access is right here. If it's just here in the previous step, we will be able to see the data, but we have to create set map data right here. Okay. So that we will be able to access, although we don't need the data here in the third step, we just need to save this. All right. So that when we open this last step, as you can see here, we are able to see the previous steps. So here in the Google Sheets, we can now map this row number right here. So this is the row number that we want to access. Don't worry about the error because we haven't executed. So it's normal. But when you actually test this, so it will have the proper value. Now here, that's the only one we need, the row number. And then the status, we will set that as done. And then that's it. That's the only requirement we need in this last step to set the status 
of this keyword that we're processing to done. So that's it. That's the simple workflow we want to add here so that we can consume our free credits in Railway. Now we're ready to create the articles. It's set up. Is all correct. We will see the new content right here if I run this. So let's click this test workflow. Sorry, before you do the test workflow, if you set some Mac value, make sure you remove them also to remove them. So as you know, we set Mac value here. So we just need to unpin. All right, make sure you unpin the Mac value that you added here. So just you just need to click that unpin. All right, now you can start testing the actual workflow. So click this test workflow. So as you can see, it's now creating the article right here. And look at that, guys. So it means they're all successful. And when we refresh this subreddit, it should now have our new post. There you go, guys. Zoji Rushi Rice Cooker, one minute ago. So this is our SEO-friendly article, which got posted here. And you know the power of Reddit, when you have a good content, you have a higher chance of ranking this keyword here on Google. And if you have the affiliate link going to your homepage or landing page, then potentially that homepage with your affiliate link will receive traffic and may land into sale. So here, as you can see, it's marked as done. So you can dump hundreds of keywords here or thousands of keywords here if you want to continuously automate creating your contents. And here to automatically do that, so you don't have to do the test workflow every time you will add here in the very first step. So here you just type in this schedule trigger and in this schedule trigger right here, you will select the frequency that whether you want every hour. So let's say every three hours, I want a new content right there. So you set the interval to hours and then here depends on how frequent you want to add new content. Now, this is now set and I think you can remove this so this is our trigger. So when you hit this, when you set this to active, this will continuously run based on the configuration of your scheduled trigger right here. So that's it. If you have thousands of keywords, so you can automate your content and populate your subreddits and get a bunch of traffic. And I hope this video gives you some insight on how you can set up your free and cloud-based server that's publicly accessible right here so that you will be able to run your automation for a month and it's free because you have one month free credits right there. That's it guys. So leave your comment and let me know what you think and don't forget to leave a like. See you in the next one.